Welcome back to this episode of In the Garage. We're back out here in the my storage building, aka uh, paint shop. That's what we'll call it, paint shop. We've, uh, as you can see, we got our, our airbrush equipment and everything in. Got the uh, compressor. Got, I don't know, 16, 18 different colors. Pearls, candies. I bought the new Candy 2.0. Um, I've read a lot of reviews on it, and uh, a lot of people really like it. So I thought I would give it a shot. Got me a Awada Eclipse HPCS. So I thought I've done a little bit of my spray and just playing around with it. And uh, so I thought maybe I'd bring you along. I said I would start shooting some videos. Um, doing some airbrushing, so that's what we're gonna do. I've got a lot of it done. Um, you really didn't miss a whole lot. I will uh, we'll finish some up over here. I don't know how well I'm gonna do. I don't know where, how well I'm gonna do holding this thing and airbrush. Man, I'm not gonna be able to. Maybe I can, maybe I can set you somewhere. Let me set you down right here. And maybe we can, maybe we can spin it around, hopefully where you can, hopefully where you can see what's going on. So I made me some some stencils. Uh, these are actually for uh, you can use them for a lot of things, but these I made specifically for uh, painting true fire. And uh, they seem to be. I mean, I don't have a lot of experience in stencils, but from the looks of it, they seem to be working all right. I'm trying to get my I'm trying to get my hand eye coordination down this heat is driving me nuts in here it's making all these metal cans pop uh, I guess one thing I definitely need to do is thin this down a little bit a little bit more Basically, all you do, guys, to to mix this up in your cup is hold your finger over the end of the air nozzle, push the air down, and pull back like you're spraying. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it bubbles up inside there and mixes your paint up for you. All right. Let's try out this stencil and see how it works. Basically, all we want to do is just get the outline, uh, the outline of this, of the outer, outer part of this, to cause our, our flame lit. I know you're not in the best position to see it. Um, I don't really know where else I can put you. But uh, I'll walk through it after I get done, and I, I'll walk 
off the camera over here, we'll take a look at it. Now trust me, I am in no way a professional. I haven't held a paintbrush in my hand in almost two decades. So uh, times have changed a little bit. Materials have certainly changed a lot. So uh, it's going to take me. It's going to take me a little bit to get back used to the hang of all this. But I'm going to take you along for the journey. You don't want to, on your first, your first coat with your stencils, you don't want to just super overdo it. Because the, the whole idea behind True Fire is is layers and layers and layers. That's what gives it that depth. So you don't want to you don't want to just overdo it with uh, with all kinds of stuff because we're going to go over this multiple times, several times. Candies don't show up on black. They sort of, uh, and in order to get, in order to get the effect you're after, you have to have a lighter coat down for that candy to go on top of. So see, this is black. So I went over the whole flame kit with a, a super light coat of white, and that will give that candy something to show up on, if that makes any sense. And I'm sorry I'm not talking a whole lot. You'll notice every time I stop pulling the trigger, I start talking. I'm, I'm so not used to this that it's taking all of my concentration. <laughs> it's taking all of my concentration to, to do it. Uh, in time, we'll get, we'll get better. But right now, I'm really having to focus. I like where it's going um, so far it looks like uh, looks like what it's supposed to look like I think At least I think it's looking sort of like what it's supposed to look like. I think I don't know. I'm not airbrushing. things that I've tried, really tried to learn how to do in my life that I haven't learned how to do to some extent. 
whether it be banjo, drums, piano, guitar, uh, I've, uh, I'm pretty strong-minded, pretty strong-minded when it comes to, uh, getting something done that I, that I, I really want to get done. I have a tendency to stick with it until, until I get it. Um, which I, uh, not sure a whole lot of y'all are that way. A few years back, I, I, a few years back, I had thought about getting, getting, uh, back into, uh, to airbrush, and I never, I never done it seriously. Uh, if you know what I mean, I played around with it. I went and bought a cheap little gun, you know, and just and I seen what was up with it, and and then I lost interest. I was into, I was into other things. I was traveling, playing music for a living. Excuse me, there's hiccups again. Playing music for a living, and uh, I just, you know, had a had a brand new daughter, and uh, my heart wasn't in it. You know, I got bored for a little while, thought I'd give it a try, and that's basically how that ended up. And so, you know, after a little bit of trials and tribulations, I just, you know, I just thought it wasn't for me. But uh, here lately, for the last, I don't know, year, two years, I've constantly, you know, been thinking about, man, I'd like to get me an airbrush or something like that. I'm, I'm, I've said it a hundred times. I'm not the type to sit on the couch. I'm just not going to do it. It's not, it's not my thing. Um, I have to be doing something. And uh, now is not the right time to start another build as far as another vehicle. Um, so relatively inexpensive Lee, you can get into airbrushing. A uh, good compressor, air gun, and some paints to start you off with. You know, I mean, you can get that less than three hundred fifty dollars. So, not much of an investment, you know. And if your heart's in it, if you really want to do it, then uh, get at it. Get at it. Give it a whirl. All you do, screw it up. Um, I know I really didn't get into to how anything's done because honestly I'm learning again myself. So I, this is not a tutorial in, of any sort. It's just I'm taking you along for a ride um, as I learn how to paintbrush again. And uh, stick with the channel. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, I'm going to try to figure out a way to get you in a little closer so you, so you can see better what I'm doing. Um, but uh, hit that subscribe button for me again, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.